Hello everyone, welcome back to the On Point Politics channel and today I want to be going over my Iowa caucus prediction for 2024. As you all know, we're about only a week away from the Iowa caucuses and I wanted to pitch in and give my actual prediction on what I think is going to happen. If you guys like the video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend so we can get it up on the algorithm. And I want to say, guys, really quick, I really appreciate the recent support in the last video. You know, that video came out about like 24 hours ago out of based out of just this recording, like me recording this only 24 hours ago. That video ended up getting like 4000 views, the 2024 election prediction, and we passed 100 subscribers. So that's awesome. I didn't expect that to happen at all. So that was really, really cool. Please keep that momentum up. I'm going to be posting one video a day just to keep the momentum up and get this community growing. So please share this channel with your friends. Go follow the Twitter actually on in the description. I am going to be putting the Twitter for the channel in the video description, obviously. And so without further ado, here we go. So as you know, Donald Trump, Nikki Haley, Vivek, Ron DeSantis and Chris Christie are the top competitors for the 2024 Republican primary. If we look at the 538 average, Trump has a pretty substantial lead in Iowa. If you look at the RCP average, he has a pretty substantial lead here. He has about a 32 point lead in Iowa with Haley actually nearly catching up to DeSantis at this point in descent is actually kind of falling off here last minute. If you look at the 2016 results, Trump's raw total vote share was about 45,000 votes. And Ted Cruz was about 51. Now, do I think he's going to reach this? I'm not very 100% certain he's going to reach this vote total total again. Because in 2020, he ended up getting 31,000, even though it was a big difference. And um, William Weld and Joe Wallace, they barely got any votes. His vote total decreased from that margin. So if anybody could surpass this total, Trump will probably lose the Iowa primary. Now, again, he has a very substantial lead in the Iowa primary. But I, again someone's going to have to pass this vote total. Now, again, I don't think that he's going to get 31,000 because of the fact that it's going to be a more competitive primary. And one of the reasons why he got this low of a turnout is because it wasn't as competitive of a primary. So I do think he's going to get about 40 to 43,000 votes in the Iowa primary. And everyone else is just not going to get the turnout necessary to really beat him there. I do expect Vivek to get about 10,000 to 15,000 votes. I actually think that Vivek's probably going to get second place. I think the polls are very, very off when it comes to Vivek. I think Vivek's going to massively outperform the polling here. I don't think he's at 6%. I think he's much higher than that. I think he's probably sitting at around 13, 14% in my personal opinion. So I think maybe he doesn't get second, but I do think he is going to be much more competitive, you know, in the lower ranks than people think he is. And so now based out of all these metrics, you know, from 2016, from 2020, from the polls in 2024, I'm going to suspect, you know, Trump probably gets about, let's say he hits about 42%. Vivek comes around here and gets about 17. Ron DeSantis gets here, gets about 12. Nikki Haley comes in here and gets some. And Chris Christie gets just like 5% or maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe Nikki Haley's higher. Maybe DeSantis is higher. But it's going to be something like this. This is what I'm thinking the map is probably going to end up being. And maybe Trump gets about 47%. So this is what I'm kind of looking at for the primary right now. In my personal opinion for Iowa, if you guys have any, you know, rebuttals or if you agree with this prediction, comment down below. This is it for this one. I just wanted to do a brief overview of Iowa really quick. Now, one last thing. It is actually coming out. There are reports saying that if 
DeSantis loses the Iowa primary, which is basically almost certain, that he's going to drop out of the primary the night of or the next morning he'll announce that he's not in the primary and maybe endorse donald trump so that would help trump quite a bit in the primary if desantis drops out right after iowa that would be pretty that would that would actually help trump out a lot at that point the primary wouldn't even really be competitive anymore but if you guys liked the video please like the video subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend so we can get this out on the algorithm. I'm going to be doing a video every single day covering political content, updates, and things of that nature in order to keep you guys updated and give you guys the most valuable information when it comes to politics in the United States for 2024. All right, guys. Have a good day.